The European Union warns of a robust and united response and claims sabotage after two Russian pipelines to Europe reported leaks. The Kremlin says European nations blaming Russia is absurd. Clashes break out between protesters and Iraqi security forces in Tahrir Square in Baghdad as Iraq's parliament voted on the resignation request of the parliament speaker. Protesters are demanding the dissolution of parliament and the organization of early elections instead. Iran's Revolutionary Guards say they fired missiles and drones at targets in the Kurdish region of neighboring Iraq, where an official says nine people were killed. Earlier, Iranian authorities accused Iranian Kurdish dissidents of involvement in unrest, now shaking the country. Israeli forces kill at least four Palestinian gunmen in the occupied West Bank, pursuing a campaign of raids triggered by a series of lethal street attacks in Israel. Seoul's military says North Korea fired an unidentified ballistic missile just days after its last test and ahead of a visit to South Korea by US Vice President Kamala Harris. The Indian government appoints retired Lieutenant General Anil Chauhan as the next Chief of Defense Staff. He is only the second person to hold the post after General Bipin Rawat, who died in a chopper crash in 2021. Global stock markets sink and the dollar soars as investors worry over recession fears and heightened tensions due to the Ukraine war. According to reports, iPhone maker Apple is dropping plans to increase production of its new iPhones this year after an anticipated surge in demand failed to materialize. 2021 finalists Spain secured a spot in the final four of the UEFA Nations League with a 1-0 win against Portugal. A late goal from Atletico Madrid forward Alvaro Morata helped La Furia Roja to finish top of Group A2. It was also their first win in Portugal since 1934. The PGA Tour's heavy hitter and former world number one Rory McIlroy has toned down the rhetoric against players who have signed up for the Leaf Golf Series. McIlroy has urged players on both sides of the divide to cool down and believes it is possible for professional golf to be cohesive again. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.